Uh, good afternoon, people. Um, I wanted to address something real quick. I meant to do it earlier, but I forgot. Uh, this weekend, um, I think it originally posted on Good Friday, but I think they actually did a, a wider release on Easter Sunday. Um, and I'm speaking about Microsoft, Bill Gates' company. They uh, put out a commercial that featured a satanic witch. Um, and I'm not using that term loosely. Like, um, Bill Gates talks a lot about casting spells. He talked about Steve Jobs casting spells. He talks about a lot of sorcery, witchcraft type stuff very often in his uh, interviews. Um, and they try to pass that as, you know, uh, using using those terms metaphorically. But no, he's really into satanic stuff. You can believe that. Um, but anyway, so Microsoft put out a commercial and coincidentally on Easter, they put this commercial out. Um, and I believe, and anybody who's reasonable would believe that it is in, in total defiance of Jesus Christ and the fact that we celebrate the the resurrection of Christ on that day. So they put this commercial out, and within a couple of days, it was dragged so hard, people uh, disrespected that commercial so bad, and they thumb down that commercial so bad that Microsoft deleted it all together. They took it off of uh, YouTube. They took it off of everywhere. They tried to go through the internet and uh, scrub it from different sites so people couldn't see it. People ain't stupid. At least right now, they're not stupid. And there's enough people who love Jesus, who love the Lord, that are standing up saying, hey, you're not going to present us no product. Not on this day, not on this time where we're celebrating the resurrection of Jesus Christ. You're not going to uh, slip no products in here with no Satanist woman uh, representing it and think that, no, we're not. And they had to delete the whole campaign. Like you go to Microsoft website, it's gone. So um, that was crazy. Understand the signs of the times that we see what's going on, that we notice what go, goes on, that Microsoft isn't hiding it, Bill Gates isn't hiding it, they doing it right out in plain sight, that they worship Satan and they are pushing his agenda. I have said it before and I say it again, you know, the Bible is clear that we do not know who the Antichrist is, so I'm not saying anything definitively or telling you that I know who he is, but what I am saying is I would not be surprised if it won't Bill Gates' bad haircut had himself. Um, <laughs> I mean, he does have a bad haircut. I figured that the Antichrist would have a better haircut, but maybe not. Maybe God just said, no, Antichrist, you cannot have a good haircut. So, um, listen, uh, like and share this video. Um, the Antichrist has a bad haircut. So, uh, 